Hi there my fellow Misfitians. Today I am going to be giving you a tour of my creative nook and hopefully giving you some tips that will help you with yours. Let's be honest with ourselves. If you are into art, chances are you have a cozy little corner somewhere in your house that is your creative brainstorming painting art nook. Whether it be a room or a teeny nook located in the corner of your home, if you love art, chances are you have a creative corner located somewhere. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Tip number one, keep a journal. This may seem like a random tip in my list, but it actually helps you out tremendously with your art and your creative nook. In my journal, I write random things I've learned throughout my art journey. Whether it be projects that didn't work or future goals for myself, as well as other random things. By creating your own resource book, which you can refer to, it will not only help you learn, but it will also help keep your mind organized, which will in turn carry over into your creative nook. Tip number two, organizing. How often do you use it? First, ask yourself the question, how often do I use this? Items that you use almost every project need to be out in the open, ready to grab in a moment's notice, yet also organized in such a way that it's easy to find them. My first set of go-to supplies are organized on a simple storage rolling cart with three shelves. I organize my watercolor paints, pencils, palettes, inks, water, tape, and other supplies that are an absolute must-have on this cart. The reason I like it is because it's easy to roll to wherever I am painting and it's also easy to store away when I don't want it to be seen. My next set of go-to supplies would be brushes and pens, which I organize in random containers. Since I often use three to five brushes per project, I place these decoratively throughout the room in random containers and even in old broken flower pots, which I've collected over the years. Remember that you don't have to buy brand new and hurt your wallet. Some of these I've collected from family, friends, and even thrift store shopping. For items that I don't use as often, I organize these in decorative boxes and storage bins based on their use. Thus as papers are located in one area, stamps in another, acrylic paints, even camera stuff, all in a specific location. Tip number three, make your space a creative hub. What do I mean by this? I mean, make your space easily changeable. As artists, we tend to thrive on new and well artistic environments. I find myself often getting quickly bored in my nook. I solve this by creating areas that can be easily and quickly changed whenever these quote unquote boredom artist blocks arise. How did I do this? First, I hung clotheslines where I can display my art and other creative things that help inspire me. These clotheslines are easy to hang, inexpensive, and what I love most, easily interchangeable. Another aspect that I do just to change things up a bit is hang colorful scarves in different locations to help throw color on my walls. I did this with simple push pins, but if you're worried about damaging your walls, you can also do this with command hooks that have the Velcro strip. And that is just a small glimpse of my creative nook and some tips to help you with yours. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.